I will set you high above all. This is God's promise for you for this month. Surely God will enable us to rise up to high places. Yes, the Lord lives in heavenly places and he says, come up. I want you to walk with me according to my power to do my will. And so you have to walk in high places with me. Yes, the scripture says in Isaiah 58, 14, he will make me glad and he will make me to walk in high places. Today, God's grace is coming upon you to do that. And for that, as you read in Deuteronomy 28, 1 and Exodus 15, 26, he says, obey my commandments, my children, and follow my word, and I will bring you to high places to walk with me in this troubled world in this world of jealousy, in this world of pain, in this world of ingratitude, in this world of deception, in this world of darkness. I want you to walk in the light with me. What a great promise. Today, all that we need to do is to follow his command and do what he asks us to do every day. The mother of Jesus came to the people in the wedding feast when there was no wine and said, go to Jesus, do whatever he says, things will be all right. And sure enough, Jesus said, fill the jars with water. And then he said, take that and serve the people. And as they filled the jars with water, obeying what he said, obeying his word, as they took that water, it was transformed into sweet wine sweet wine sweet wine obedience produces sweet wine obedience to god's word produces sweet wine in your life this is god's way of making you being honored sure enough the bridegroom was honored that day in that feast the master of the house the master of the wedding feast said Mr. Bridegroom, you kept the best wine to the end. He did not know that the wine had dried up. And obedience to the word of Jesus produced that new wine, which was much sweeter than the former wine. The bridegroom was the most honored person that day because Jesus produced that wonderful wine for him because he obeyed his word. Today, God wants to do it for you. In my life, as I was being taken to join a school, yes, they wanted to put me in the first standard. I did some kindergarten here and there because my father was traveling as he was being transferred from place to place since he was a bank official. I could not do much of kindergarten. So they took me to admit me in the first standard and the Catholic sister who was the headmistress of the school, after testing me said, well, he's good enough to go to the second standard, so we'll put him in the second standard straight away. You know why? Because my mother, even at that age, would make me recite the word of God, speak one verse every day, memorizing it, and then start the day. Truly, as I lived according to the word of God, the promises of God, claiming it for my blessing for the day. It gave me elevation straight away as I started life. And sure enough, when I was 18 years old, I went away from the Lord. But I gave my life to the Lord and came back and I started reading the scripture. Because I said, Lord, you are my friend. You are my friend. You have to talk to me. You have to tell me what to do. All the friends of the world led me astray. And so when I came to the Lord, He enabled me to lose all those friendships and to get connected only to the Lord. In the morning, He would speak to me 
I claim those verses and pray, Lord, let this blessing come upon me. And that gave me the presence of God to concentrate in my studies. I did very well in every subject. And I got through every paper. And when I got the degree, I was given a gold medal for a subject. And I did my MBA out of 20,000 people who appeared, 40 were given seat in the university and I was one among them. And I did my PhD at the age of 26 in advertising and God took me to the educational realm to lead the university. And then God took me to the government of India to sit in educational committees with the prime minister chairing one committee and the HRD minister chairing another committee evolving policies for the nation in the educational realm. Elevation. I will set you high above all as you hold on to my word and follow my commandments. God wants to lift you up also. And the same Lord says, when you follow my commandments, I will never allow sickness to come to you. And I will make sure that the sicknesses which come to afflict you will come upon those who try to bring those sicknesses upon you, evil upon you. Do we desire evil to come upon our enemies? No. As Jesus did, we will say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. They know not what they do. And the man who crucified him said, truly he is the Son of God. He cast away the sicknesses, the wounds that he had and he brought salvation to the man who crucified him. That is the power of following God's word. It gives you the strength to forgive. And the scripture says in James 5, 14 to 16, when you forgive others, you will be healed. You will be healed. I pray that you will be healed of all the losses all the pain, all the sickness, all the financial troubles, and you will have the great grace to be set high above all. Shall we pray, committing our lives to God, even as we start this month? Father, I pray for this grace to come upon each one of us, Lord. Forgive us of all our sins. Cleanse me Cleanse those who are praying with me with your blood, Lord Jesus. None of us are perfect, but cleanse us from all the past sins and our souls let it be clean. And by your Holy Spirit, release each one from every weakness. Let there be total deliverance, strength. Give them the grace to read your word every day and be led by your word. Now, Lord, I pray that you will set them high above all their weaknesses in the spirit. Set them high. Release them in Jesus' name. Set them high in their finances. Set them high in their marks. Set them high in all their establishments. Set them high in all their endeavors. Set them high in all their research. Set them high in their family life. Set them high in all the associations they have. Father, let your will come upon them. Let them rise up to greater heights. Let this month be a month when you would lift us up, lift us up as a corporate body, and you will lift us up to high places. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a blessed month.